Okay guys, I'm sitting here at my post office and I'm getting ready to mail off yet another um, uh, set of paperwork for a new potential client. It is a cool fall day here in October. Um, the, the overages, the foreclosures, surplus funds have not slowed down in 2021 at all. They're not gonna slow down in 2022, guys. We're gonna see foreclosures for the foreseeable future. Um, there's a lot of uh, a lot of bad stuff happening in the world right now, and subsequently, people are getting foreclosed on. Um, that's certainly not something I I hope for for people, but they have no idea about overages or surplus funds. None of them do, <clears throat> and it's because it's not information that's readily available to them. So they need people who are going to not only work the court case and get the money released to them, um, but they need someone like you who's gonna tell them that it's there at all and tell them exactly what you're gonna do to get it. Um, I hear <clears throat> one of the most common questions that I get asked is, well, Dan, once you tell people about um, you know, overages or tell them that there's an excess fund there, what's stopping them from going and getting the money themselves? Why don't they just go and do it themselves? Why do they need you? Thank you for the free information, Dan. And on their way they go, right? And it makes sense that you would think that. It makes sense to, to think that people would just take the free information and go do it themselves. <clears throat> this is how I explain it, guys. And, and this is true, okay? Imagine that you're talking to the pilot of a 737 aircraft. You're in there in the cockpit with him, and he's telling you all about flying this plane. He's telling you every single control and what those do. He's telling you how to take off. He's telling you how to land. And this goes on for about an hour. You're learning about flying the 737 for a whole hour. He's telling you everything. Everything he's learned in flight school for a whole hour. Are you now going to take control of that airplane fly it from Chicago to LA and back? Do you feel confident doing that yourself? Well, no, of course not. And and why? Why is that why is that the case? He just told you everything. Guys, telling somebody a thing versus teaching them what to do with that information and showing them the most efficient way and the most effective way to get it out and really getting into the nuts and bolts, that takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of practice. It takes it takes knowledge. In fact, quick plug for my course, it takes uh, a serious education on how to do that stuff. Um, Overage Mastery, by the way, is the name of my course. Please check it out. Check out the free webinar. I'm sure you'll get information from that. Um, but guys, this is, this is simple. They're not gonna do this themselves. These people, a lot of them have almost what I like to describe as PTSD. They are afraid, they're running from creditors, they've run from, a, they've had a house foreclosed on them. They know what it's like to have something stripped away from their life. They're afraid, they don't wanna deal with the courts, they don't wanna hire attorneys, they don't have money to hire attorneys, they don't have the means or the knowledge or the information at their fingertips or the, uh, the experience even to go and get this money themselves. And especially in certain states, guys, you would be surprised how difficult it is to get money in certain states um, from either trustees or from the government themselves. So believe me when I say, these people need what you are offering. This is not a scam. This is not get rich quick. This is not like you are putting some little old lady in a difficult spot who needs money and you're just taking a cut of her hard earned money. This isn't that, guys. This information alone is worth the 10 or 20% you're gonna take uh, on the back end after you get the money out from. And they're getting tens of thousands of dollars from this, from something they didn't even know was there. So you have to ask yourself, if there was a million dollars, say, and let's go with a, a big number, or let's say there was a million dollars sitting in a trust, but you never knew it existed or where it was or why it was there or how it came to be. Would you give someone $200,000 so that they could get you 800K? I think most of you would say yes to that. And why wouldn't you? I mean, it's, it's free money that you never would have gotten access to. You never would have gotten had you not uh, found this information out. 
So here I am, I'm sitting at the post office, I can't, I'm looking at my time because I know they're about to close in a little bit, so I gotta mail this off. But I, I wanted to do this video because that is by far the most common question that I get asked in this industry is, how is it that you're able to contract people at all once you tell them what it is? Now, number one, you don't have to tell them it's an overage or from a foreclosure. You can just say it's money that you know is there that you will only get paid on the back end if you get them the check for. I don't like to do that. I think it sounds fake. It sounds false. Um, I don't like to do things that way. Uh, I like to tell them it's an overage from a foreclosure because I, I don't think just like a pilot telling you how to fly a plane, I don't think it's giving away too much information, honestly. I think it's something that uh, that they take and now know but don't know what to do with, but you do. Um, this is this is crucial, guys, in your business. If you want to be successful, you have to learn how to give people information while maintaining the mental superiority and you know, you're not gonna show them how to do it. You're not gonna hold their hand. You wanna do it for them. And that comes with a percentage on the back end. That's your job. Uh, but it's very doable, very easy, and people trust you. Once, you. once you lay out what you know, they're gonna believe you. They're not gonna think you're a scammer because you've got detailed information. They're not gonna think you're some robot because you're obviously not. You're a human being talking to them. You're not some robo spam caller from India. You're an actual person. These things build trust. And eventually, once they take a look at the documents, you know, you send them this stuff in the mail. By the way, I don't like sending things in the mail. I like emailing it to them. It's infinitely quicker. In this person's case, she didn't have a printer. And you're gonna find that's the case. You know, these people have, who have been foreclosed on, who have fallen under hard financial times, they're not gonna have a lot of access to stuff. And they're not gonna wanna do things like print stuff on their own. They're gonna say, hey, can you just mail it to me? Great, this is someone who's even more motivated because they're not gonna go over you and hire their own attorney. They're gonna wanna use you, right? Even if it takes a percentage out, 20, 30, 40%. Um, so keep that in mind, guys. Keep the faith, feel strong, be confident in what you're doing, be confident in what you're selling because this is a product people want. This is a product people need. I've made hundreds of thousands of dollars doing this. I've gotten a million plus dollars back for my clients. I mean, I don't even know at this point. It's Lots and lots of money, okay? This is definitely beneficial. Um, so check out uh, uh, Overage Mastery. It's my course there. Um, love love to send you over to the webinar, which will che teach you a little bit more about this uh, and get you set up with talking to one of us. I wanna see if this is a good fit for you. I wanna see if this is something you can use in your life. And uh, if it is and you can profit off this, then great. Um, also like and subscribe, guys. Comment. I need the comments. I need the I need the subscribers. Okay, that's how YouTube knows to push these videos out. So, hook a brother up. Help me out with those subscribes. All right, guys. Till the till next time. Stay hungry. Keep that entrepreneur spirit alive, and keep looking for overages. It's a great business, and there's virtually no uh, no competition. I'm telling you, it's great. All right, guys. See you on the next one.